Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. Today is another LEGO Top 10 Mocks of the Week episode where I show you the coolest custom creations in LEGO bricks that I happen to see people building. As always, there are way, way, way more than just 10 cool models that I'm gonna show you in this video. Everything you see flashing by the screen all have links to the original designers and their posts in the description below if you wanna see more of their stuff. This week, no new instructions popped up in the web store. I've got maybe six projects that are all supposed to get built at the same time right now, so it's a little crazy. But I did launch a little short video yesterday, just kind of a test out for maybe doing single minifig quick vids. Still messing around a little bit with the format. Let me know what you guys think. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment, share if you enjoy our content, and let's jump straight into the first build. I don't present these in any particular order of best to worst, just awesome models. The first one here is from Dan the Fan, and the title is A Voyage to Whatever Happens next. There are so many fun details to enjoy about this model. It's not just a ship. It looks like it's a ship that has been converted into a house. So the hull is quite literally sitting on top of a stone building foundation. I've never seen somebody try to make the side paneling of a hull out of what looked like just loosely stacked one by two tiles. That is so crazy, but it looks really nice in terms of making a rounded shape that's made of paneled wood pieces. The old palm tree parts are getting used as the side banisters for the rooftop of the house. There's some really interesting combinations of parts getting put together in very strange ways to make all types of shapes. And it really helps to bring out the fun, colorful, cartoony fantasy world that this model seems to be based in. If I had not used a pirate themed title and thumbnail on last week's top 10, this might be the thumbnail. Bard Jaskier created Mouse Pirate part of a competition for Brick Nerd, and in his description he has a pretty solid pun. It is a pie rat build. There's a really clean sense of rounded shapes for the entire build here. The shoes are very round and smooth and they match up well with the legs, the torso, and of course the really fun build for the head and ears. A series of Technic bricks stacked on top of each other is all you need in order to create holes for Swiss cheese. And of course, that is the pirate's booty in the chest. He is a mouse or rat after all. Number eight in the lineup only has this one interesting picture here. We don't have any other photos from Max Richter. This is Porsche Diesel Super 308N. So what we're looking at is a Porsche produced tractor with some wonderfully smooth shapes that go towards the front. The flexible pieces in the front in light bluish gray really round out the front shape very well. And it's a model built with all kinds of interesting degrees of accuracy. All right, here is the model you saw in the thumbnail. This is Kaneda's bike, but done with the Vespa set. That's specifically the Creator Set 10298. And it doesn't even look like all the pieces from that model are actually used in order to create this very iconic anime motorcycle. The designer is Gerald Kakas. And what's so fun about this model is it really does have slightly different, more rounded shapes on certain areas of the body compared to the original Kaneda's bike in red. So it really does feel like a Vespa-esque version of what this bike would look like if the Italians had built it. There's some awesome rounded shapes towards the front. I really like what's happening around the base. Alrighty, this next model is from Sandro Quattrini. The title is Sakura Crab, and it's part of a larger crab collaboration where many different model builders all built fun little crab characters. This one just happens to be my personal favorite. There are some amazing ones also. You should check out these links in the description below if you wanna see more. Personally, I love the minifigure arms and well, all the pieces that are used to create the interesting, weird, strange face of the crab. I like the build for the claws on the hands and feet. And this crab, if you haven't noticed yet, also has a lily pad and other things growing on top of his back. Great looking character model, and there's a lot of water-themed builds, I suppose, this week. The next one is from Random Vector. This is the Rubber Duckaneers. Huh? How flippin' adorable is this? The ship itself is essentially a bathtub. You can see in the back, there's actually a metal shower faucet and spigot. There's a smaller bathtub dinghy next to it. Tons of rubber ducks everywhere. And the water itself 
is a gigantic bubble bath scene. I love that the whole base is a wonderfully side built, smooth studded, rounded series of studs, or I should say, suds the base watercolor is a much lighter blue which makes sense and the closer you look at this one you'll find all kinds of really fun cute little details all right we're jumping on to number four in the lineup from peter ilmerud this is valendiel that's perhaps just the name of this interesting little micro scale fantasy land that we're looking at you can see houses farming for wheat perhaps a larger castle at the base of a huge tree along with a forest lighthouse and of course a ship or two in the sea it's incredibly well contained lots of creative pieces used to make these little shapes and peter built this in mind uh, for it to fit inside this stand that actually has a little glass case that goes around it i think he said he found it at ikea really really fun display piece and a great little micro world to keep on your desk all right this is number three alex lamb built the model is simply titled Tunnel, but you can see based on the photos that this is a scene from one of the Harry Potter books slash movies. I genuinely don't remember this part. What book is this from? But you can see Harry and Hagrid upside down in a magical motorcycle going the wrong way inside a tunnel. The tunnel build itself is awesome with this wonderfully long half cylinder. There's car builds, there's lights everywhere. And it's an interesting sort of cutout piece or cross section piece, I should say, where you can see the dirt on top of the tunnel. Great looking build, lots of fun angles. And now we're jumping on over to a robot build from Marco de Bon. This guy builds tons of awesome robots. We are looking at Ava 1 and it is the main character's massive Ava robotic suit that you see in Evangelion Neon Genesis. The legs are a little thicker in uh, the model here, I think, compared to what you might see in the anime. I believe that is a purely structural purpose, so you can actually have some super fun poses for this robotic design. The colors are great, and there are some awesome shapes that make up the torso and chest. I wouldn't mind seeing the other two Ava suits make an appearance from this same designer. The aesthetic is just awesome, and we are moving on to the last Last model from top 10. The title is The Kingsman Poppy's Diner and the designer is NS Brick Designs. Really, really fun that he decided to put this inside an old leather suitcase. It certainly fits right in with that Kingsman aesthetic and there are just some fun, fun details to be seen. It's a bit of a chaotic piece. This is a pretty over the top action movie, or at least it's a movie that has very over-the-top action scenes, and the designer certainly did not pull any punches. The diner itself is a great looking model, it's got an awesome interior, and the exterior is full of all kinds of action, we'll say. Really, really fun design. Here are some honorable mentions now. Lego Mox 501 built The Last Stand. Fun details, great looking lightsaber effects. Nobu Terry has a couple of different Spider-Man builds. Space Brick built Ambush in Medieval Town. The netting pieces used to create the tiles on the roof is just awesome looking. And then this one is called The Japanese Calm Before the Storm. David Seven built this. It's an awesome juxtaposition between calm, quaint, rural Japan country side and scary cyber futuristic evil characters or something. Simone Alex has the Bounty Hunters transport ship. There's all kinds of interesting mechanical details here. And lastly, check out the tree designs from Simon Schweyer. The title is The Hideout. All right, that is it for my personal favorite top 10 mocks. Remember, links to everybody I'm talking about and more are all in the description below. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video, and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault.